Welcome to Rebel Chaser. My name is Gail, and I have a clip for you from Judge Mark Bronlich at the 38th Circuit Court in Michigan. He has a couple in his courtroom, and the mother did something to hurt her ex. But I'll let you guys be the judge. Sound session. David Show versus Amanda Show. For the record, this matter is before the court uh, for review. Subject to the parties having engaged in mediation with Ms. Patrick this morning. This hearing has been conducted via Zoom. President is Attorney Amber Billmeyer representing the plaintiff father, David Show, and Mr. Show is present with Mr. Billmeyer. In addition, Attorney Christine Hills is present representing uh, the defendant to mother, Amanda Branshaw. Ms. Branshaw is a present. And, uh, in addition, uh, guardian item Stephen Jendek is present. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Ms. Patrick. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. The court has reviewed the report of guardian litem. Thank you, Mr. Jenick, for your involvement and assistance in this file. Have the parties been able to reach any agreement with the system, Ms. Patrick, this morning? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Wonderful. Who would like to place that on the record? I'll have Ms. Billmeyer do that. Sure. It's Please. very simple. <laughs> Um, Your Honor, the parties have agreed to move the mediation to April 18th at 9 a.m. And parenting time is reserved between father, the plaintiff, and Cole. Um, the remaining orders remain in effect for the child to go to counseling. Um, and I, that, is the sum, that is the summary of the uh, agreement, Your Honor. That is correct. Right, that's April, 8, April 18th at 9 a.m., is that correct? Yes. Right here. Okay. Do, do, do counsel what they want? Do you want to review uh, by this court after that mediation? Do you want to the court stock it? I think that would be a good idea. I have no objection to that. That's fine with me. Very well. Anything else uh, for the record this morning? No, Your Honor. Yeah. Much easier than yesterday. All right. Uh, well, obviously, the courts learned something about this case uh, from uh, the Guardian Latham report, and obviously, Miss Branchaw, you need to you need to step up and do something to repair this relationship between your son and Mister Show. I, I just the court is just just flabbergasted that you would tell if this is true a three year old that uh, the individual who he knew as a father all these years was not his biological father. And obviously that's created, that, that would create a lot of uh, animosity and uh, anxiety on a young child. So if that's true, uh, shame on you. That's all I can say. And you need to, if you care about your son, you need to uh, restore that and repair that relationship, Ms. Branchaw. Yes, sir. She's doing everything she can, Your Honor. She's making sure the child gets to all of the appointments, coordinating and informing uh, Mr. Show of uh, psychiatric uh, involvement at the request of the therapist. Um, she, she has gotten Cole to all of the family counseling and shelter services uh, visits, whether Cole proceeded to go into the, the office or not. Um, she really is working very hard to assist. Um, she knows the importance of the relationship um, between Cole and dad. It's just, of course, it's very disappointed. It's just uh, to see a young child go through this and, and caused by his own mother, in large part. Any event, so that being said, uh, all right, the court will uh, uh, mail out notice. Do you, do you want an order enter to this effect that the parties uh, appear for mediation, community mediation with Ms. Patrick April 18th at 9 a.m.? If so, Ms. Patrick, can you prepare something to assist the attorneys? Um, Your Honor, I can, but we've already put it on my calendar, and I believe everybody's aware of that date. All right. Uh, there'll be nothing in the court file then, but I'll put it in my calendar. But there'll be nothing in the court file about this without an order. 
Uh, so I'll put in my, my calendar April 18th, but obviously there's no order. So if the parties choose to change that, nothing the court can do. All right. Judge, I'll, I'll prepare an order that uh, indicates that the parenting time with Cole is reserved and that stays uh, the same with Brantley and uh, continuing therapy and those sorts of things. I'll, I'll prepare an order. And just so the court's also? aware, Your Honor, there's an open motion for to modify custody and parenting time. That motion is being adjourned. That motion is still open. Yep, the court notes that the court reviewed that uh, yesterday. Thank you. Uh, so, Ms. Uh, Hills, could you put in your order that the parties will meet with Ms. Patrick April 18th at 9 a.m. and subsequently appear before the court for review? Yes, Your Honor. All right, wonderful. Anything further, Ms. Wilmeyer, Ms. No, Hills, and Mr. Jenneck? No. All right, thank you, Ms. Patrick. That will conclude, Mary. You can all zoom out. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Thank you. Now, this is just my opinion, but I think she did more to damage her future relationship with him than she did to damage her ex's relationship with this son. Because males, especially, don't want to find out that their moms are out screwing around. So if what she said is true, he's not going to have any respect for her. And if he knows that it's a lie and she did it to get what she wanted, he's not going to have any respect for her. So that's just my thought. He's going to want to be with his dad. That's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you next time.